Hey chaps and chapettes, guys and ladies. It's just uh, the annoying British guy again. Um, uh, today I'm going to show you how to create more, a little, slightly more complex geometry. But if you watch my previous tutorials, I, which I suggest that you do, because I'm not going to be showing you how to UVW map it or get it into the game, because my previous tutorial did that. We're just, just, just going to be making an, an archway and making the collision geometry for it. Okay, so click on box, make it, you know, however long you want it to, you can just resize it. Um, I'm going to make it about there, I think. Just drag it up a little bit, like that. And go into the front. First, we're going to center it up. Zero, zero. Okay. And um, might make it a bit thinner. Now, let's give it some height segments. Um, yeah, give it about. We'll just use about four. Oops, wrong one. Um, four um, width segments. Oops, so four. Yep, four width segments. In fact, make it six. There we go. Six width segments. Right click it. Convert to editable poly. Press number four, which will bring you this tool. Control A. Select everything, modify a list, bend, angle, ooh, about 180. Oops, on the x axis. See? See how easy? As Bob Ross would say. <laughs> okay, go back to convert to editable poly. Now go into your front view and just move it up until you're happy with the height of it, like so. That should be fine for my model. Go back into your perspective, like so. Now click on, I mean, press number four again. So you go, click on these bottom ones, and then what you do, go into the front view, yes, and extrude them downwards until they reach the bottom, which is about, doesn't have to be exact, about there. And they have an archway. Now, to make the collision for this, what we need to do is select each part. So, drag your mouse over this part here. This is part the first part, as you can see. Go down to detach. Okay, and just do this for each part. This part, um, detach. Okay, this part. In fact, for this, we can just go into the front view. This part here. This part here, detach. This, well, this part. This part here, detach. This part here, detach. And just keep doing this until they're all detached from each other. Now, now you've done that. To create a collision, all you've got to do is. Um, Go to F3, press F3, that gives you the Wi-Fi mode. And just do this for each part, right? Go to create, and see these little vertices. Go in an anti-clockwise direction. Click on that, move to the next one. Do, do, do. And do that for each interior face. Not the outside ones, just the inside ones. Because the outside ones are actually visible these ones here ain't invisible ain't visible sorry let's do that for each one okay just go around select the next object press number four go to, go down create click each vertice anti-clockwise motion like that that part becomes red that means there's a face being created anti-clockwise and just do that for each part each of these six parts just do that you know, just make a fa make the faces, deselect, go to the next part, and just do that for all six parts. I'm going to do that now, and um, unpause the video when I've done it. Okay, so I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back now. If you did what I asked you, then you know each each part should look like you know, for example, each part should look. Like this, you know, no, no invisible edges. See, 
um, these edges are normally um, invisible. Let's sign out of that. Um, these edges are normally invisible, but we just went around and created the faces for them. Okay, unhide all. Now what you need to do is just if you followed the previous tutorial, you'd you'd know that you have to just go to each one. Um, control A. Go down. Clear smooth and group one. Next one. Press four. Control A. Clear all one. Next one. Just do this for each part. I mean, I watched a tutorial once. Well, I didn't watch one because, like, you know, like I said, there haven't been any, any tutorials on YouTube about this. I read this tutorial about a guy making an arch, and he made an arch. And what he did was he manually, he manually went and put a box around each part, and that was just ridiculous because this way is so much easier. And you know, you're not going to run into an invisible object. Like you could run through this and, run, and get clipped by an invisible object, but if you use this method. Then your archway will be exact to the um, archway that you made before. You know the, this actual archway. It will, the collision will be exact. It'll be exactly the same. So yeah, I think that would do for this tutorial. Um, I mean, it's really easy once you get the hang of it. You know. I'm not going to use UW map this or anything. This is just to show you how to make you know slightly more complex collision geometry. You know it's not that complex, but slightly more complex than the blocks. <laughs> and remember that you can only ever have on one model you can only ever have twenty shape twenty cylinders or boxes. That's how the source engine works with collision geometry. You can only ever have up to twenty boxes or um, cylinders. Sorry. And that's your collision geometry. Now what you've got to do is just select all of your collision geometry. Don't need this guy. And then just go to I've no after you've done actually apply a texture to it, it has to be a texture. Then go to file, export selected, export it to your folder and just um, export it as model name underscore collision and then model score under uh, underscore idle and you're done. So thanks for watching. Um, I hope the other tutorial helped as well. Um, I hope that things are working out great for you we're getting things into the game and um, see you next time